Hi there everyone, my name is Megan Lloyd with the EO Movement Team. I'm going to be talking about Quizzer today for our Techie Tip Tuesday. This is a free option if you would like to create an online quiz. There are two different possibilities. You can create an outcome quiz, which is it basically depending on the answers that they've responded to, it'll give them an outcome. So let's take a, a, a personality quiz for example. Based on what they answer in their quiz, it will say and Ta-da, you're a yellow personality or you're a blue personality. <clears throat> or you can do just the regular graded quiz like you do in school. Um, it'll, it'll grade how well you've done on the quiz and then give you a result. So I'm going to show you a little bit how that works and how beautiful it is. I actually really like Quizzer a lot. Okay, so it's spelled qzzr.com and it looks like this. When you're ready to start, just click create quiz and then, uh, then you'll create a really quick account. I've already created one, so I'm going to show you what our account looks like. So let's create a quiz. On the bottom right-hand corner is where you'll get started, the little edit button, and you'll choose. Do you want a graded quiz or do you want an outcome quiz? Let me show you what an outcome quiz looks like. So we're going to call this personality test. And again, you can use this for many things. You don't have to, you can use this for team trainings, for to, to engage your, your audience that has not yet um, joined on your team. So let's say you want to create a quiz like, would you enjoy doing, doing this as a business? And obviously you can word it differently than that, but then you can funnel them based on their answers into, is this something that they would enjoy? Or what, do you enjoy natural health care? Do you look for, uh, do you always read the labels when you go shopping, whatever, then they might enjoy essential oils. You can use this for team trainings if you would like to teach about the live share build guides or or something that we do do in the team you can also use this there to kind of create a fun way to engage your audience so for the, for our purposes i'm just going to show you an example using a personality test so this is our personality test this is our description up here in the top left hand corner now that you've you've done the cover page click on outcomes and this is what you want to ultimately have them funnel into once they've completed the quiz. So one outcome for my personality test might be you are yellow. The other one might be you are blue. And another one might be white. So those are my outcomes. Now we're gonna choose the questions that lead to those outcomes. So are you a peacemaker in the home? And then you choose the answers, always, never, <clears throat> sometimes. And then you click on this little purple button that says map an outcome. And you choose what you want that question to be linked to as far as the outcome. So always would be white, never would be maybe yellow, and sometimes would be blue. And then you can add another question, bottom left-hand corner plus sign over here. <clears throat> And then just keep going and adding questions and choosing which outcomes you want those questions to be tied to. Super simple, very, very fast to do. And then once you've done, you're done, you click configure. I'll show you what one we've already created so you can see what it looks like <clears throat> on the front end. So this is one called Avid Share versus True Builder. And this is what it looks like for the user. So they would click start. And then they just start selecting answers. I'm going to go through it really quickly without really any thought to what the, the answers are and have you see <clears throat> what it looks like in the end. You can see it's super, super clean, very, very, very attractive to look at and very easy to do. I think the, the least techie person can figure this out in, in seconds. Do, do, do. I obviously made this a little bit of a long quiz. Ha ha, result, you're a true builder. Then you can share your results or you can retake it. And you can choose images that you want tied to your outcomes and everything. So really awesome, huh? If you have any questions, let us know. MeganSLloyd at gmail.com. That's our techie tip for this week. Have a great evening.